progress bar chart are visually quite powerful and can help you to monitor progress towards a certain goal or a target. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to build a chart that tracks progress and it will look amazing as well. So without any further delays, let's jump straight into it and see how we can build this chart. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to build a progress bar chart in Tableau. So as you can see here, we are trying to show the contribution of each of these subcategories for uh, contributing towards total sales. So as you can see here, phones are contributing to 14.4% of the total sales. Similarly, storage is contributing to 9.7% and tables contributing to 9% of the total sales. So that based on this one, we are able to track the progress of the sales of each of these subcategories. And if we have any particular goal or target for each of these subcategories, we can monitor that using this progress bar chart. So how we can create this? So for this, I'll be opening a new workbook where I have already connected to sample superstar data set. So first of all, I'll be creating a simple bar chart by bringing the subcategories to row shelf and sales to column shelf. And you will see a bar chart is created. I will then sort it by descending order and I will simply add the label marks to show me the sales value for each of these subcategories. And I will make it the view to entire view. And here I would like to create another calculated, actually a new calculated field, which I will say progress. And for this, I will be using a minimum value of one. So what I'm trying to do here is just to create a minimum percentage value, which is 100%. So I will convert the data type, actually the default properties of number format, and I will change the percentage and I will keep it to just zero decimal places. So once I do that, I will bring progress into column shelf and you will see a 100% bar chart is created. All right, so what we need to do is, first of all, the sum of sales, I will go here and I will bring the sales into text label, which we already have it there. But what I want to do here is by clicking on this drop down, and I want to add a quick table calculation to show percentage of total. Once I do that, you will see here, each of these subcategories are now showing the percentage value as percentage of total. So if our total is 100%, so phones are contributing to 14.37% of the total sales. So till this step, I guess it's quite straightforward. So now what we need to do is, we will simply create a dual axis. So for dual axis, I will click on this one of the green pill and select dual axis. Once we do that, you will see the bar chart is changed into circle marks. So it's just normal, that's fine. So let's simply go here into all marks and change it into bar. And you will see it, it's created like this. And once we create a dual axis, the thing which we need to remember is we always have to synchronize the axis. So here we synchronize the axis and you will see there is an overlap of the colors because the progress is on the top. So we need to drag it and bring it in the front and you will see the different two colors here. And if you notice here the progress, the percentage, it's not right here. So it's, it's showing the percentage and the numbers in sum of sales and we are showing the progress in percentage. So we don't want it this way. So we will simply go to sales and change the table calculation as percentage of total. And now you will see it. We can see the two different colors and the total 100% is our background color where we are trying to show the progress. 
So now we have to do a bit of formatting to make sure we are showing a nice progress chart where we can track the progress towards a certain goal. So what we need to do here in terms of formatting is, uh, well, simply change the color of progress by double clicking on that. And I want to select the gray color, which I normally prefer. So I will just select the light gray color in the background. So it looks much better here. And I will go to progress chart and I will select the borders and I will select the orange border here. And it's looking pretty good now. And I want to hide the label. So I don't want to see the label 100%. So I will just go here and uncheck the show mark labels. We are getting quite close. Then I will simply hide the headers. I don't want to see the headers. So I will right click and uncheck show headers. And we are getting quite close. And even like with the progress color, I want to reduce the color to more lighter shade. So should, let's check this one, how it looks like. Okay. This is pure white. I want a little bit gray shade. So I will select maybe this one and press OK. Yep, this is a bit better. And I will hide the feed labels on the top and I will remove the borders, row dividers. I don't want that. And here you can see, you can increase the color text. So make it a bit bigger, maybe 11, which looks pretty well. And also with the sizing, you can play around with the sizing as well. So you can reduce the size here and you can see if you reduce, it goes the size of the background or the progress bar goes a bit less. So you can adjust the way you like it. I normally prefer of the same width. So it looks really nice and crisp and it shows that this is entire 100% with the orange background and we have achieved only 14.37% in case of phone sales. Also, if you want to add another filter or another value, so in this case, this number is for the entire sales from inception. But I want to see the contribution for, let's say, last three months. So I will simply select October, November and December 2021 and you will see the contribution. The phone is still at number one and you can show the filter here and you can change the way it looks like. So I normally select multiple value drop down. So it helps me to utilize the space properly. You don't have to show the entire filter. So here you can add more if you want to. So let's select more months and you will see the phone is still at number one which is quite a popular product and also you can customize the filter by showing apply button so that way like whenever you select or uncheck something it will not reflect straight away on the chart but for in order to get it reflected you have to select apply button so once you do that see there are some movement here which makes sense and also if you want to use a different form of filter you can simply uncheck this and you can bring the order date into filter shelf and select a relative date and it will look something like this so if you want to see the sales of this year and it will show nothing because the data in this particular sample super, sample superstore data set is still december 2021 so I will show filter and I will say previous year and it will show me the data for 2021, which is like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, so you can stay tuned for my new latest videos. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.